Hey Seawolves fans, I'm Jacqueline Latanza and this is your Seawolves United update. Can you show us your form? So how did you wind up with the Harlem Globetrotters? Um, well, the Harlem Globetrotters have a great scouting system. After two days of competition here at the Ocean Breeze Athletic Complex, it was the Great Danes of Albany who swept the competition. We're coming at you right from FanFest in Pritchard Gymnasium, where students are coming here before the men's basketball game to get their red on. For the men's team, the probable starting lineup for tonight is Purifoy, Mitchell, Niyama, McGrew, and Warney. Carson Purifoy, the six-foot junior guard from Winona, New Jersey, wearing number 10. He was the second on the team in scoring 12.9 points per game. He led the team in assists, steals, and free throws made, and was named to the America East Championship All-Tournament team last season. As a freshman, what is the transition like from high school to the collegiate level? Um, it's just about dealing with the schedule. You know. But today we're talking about a football game. Can you tell us how important is athletics and how will it bring Stony Brook to the next level? So athletics is really a very important part of what we do at Stony Brook University. As you said in the introduction, it's evolved over time. The marching band boat, um, you would know. You yeah, the the, it's band. a Pac-Man theme and it's, it's looking like it's pretty sturdy. I mean, none of the people in the boat have gotten wet so far, so it looks good for them. And you're actually from Staten Island, so a great opportunity for friends and family to come by. So who do you have here that were cheering you on? Yeah, uh, my parents. Now, you're the fifth coach in 10 years for women's basketball at Stony Brook. What do you bring to the table that might be different from past coaches? Wow, um, you know, I think that there's just a lot of energy and excitement coming into the season. And, and Hey, Seawolves fans, I'm Jacqueline Latanza, and this is your Seawolves United Update. The athletic training department is now home to a much-needed hydrotherapy treadmill, thanks to a generous donation made by three Stony Brook doctors. As a physician and a surgeon, uh, I understand the importance of rehab and how critical that is to getting a injured athlete back into a life they enjoy. It really allows us to be more progressive with their rehabilitation and get them back on the field or back on the court sooner, make them less weight-bearing on their joints. Any of the lower extremity injuries, um, we'd like to get them doing something that gets their cardiac going without putting them at risk. It allows us to keep them active. This has been a great benefit to me because it helps me progress faster and it's going to help me get stronger so I can get back on the court and do what I love to do. It really allows the student athlete to stay on campus, not miss time with the program, not miss time from class or, or their studies. Everything that we're trying to do is geared towards allowing our student athletes to have an incredible experience and now they're able to recover from their injuries faster. I'm Dr. Larry Hurst. I'm Dr. Jim Penna. I'm Dr. James Pacey and I'm Seawolves United. And that's your Seawolves United update. If you're interested in transforming the life of each student athlete here at Stony Brook, just like Dr. Hurst, Dr. Penna and Dr. Pacey, visit SeawolvesUnited.com and join today.